If you're looking for someone to grind for you in NBA 2K21, then just visit Rose NBA on Twitter for safest, fastest, and most legit grinding services. Link is in the description. Hello everyone, it's PCL by here. Today I'm here with another VC glitch for the game NBA 2K21, and it is a really cool glitch. Though it might not get you tons of VC like we got from some of the previous glitches, which are patched now, but it is a really fast way of earning VC. So just hit that like and subscribe button as it is the easiest way in which you can support my channel. And before starting with the glitch, I want to thank you all as my channel recently completed 12k subscribers and it means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do the honor now as I made regular content for the game NBA 2K20 and I've been doing the same for 2K21 too. I've already made a lot of content for NBA 2K21 including many VC and badge glitches and I make regular videos on new locker codes too. So make sure to use those glitches and codes before they are patched or expired. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel right now to never miss a video. And also press the bell icon so you are always able to apply these tricks before they are patched. And now without any further ado, let's get started. The best way to utilize this VC glitch is when you are done playing 2K21 and you are going to do something else. Because you don't even have to play this game to get the free VC. So just follow my instructions very carefully and you'll get the VC. So once you are in the main menu of this game, what you have to do is you just have to go to your my league. In my league, well, you have to select your existing league and you just have to delete every existing league. So as you can see, I've deleted my existing league and now I'll start a new one. So in the new one, I'll select the current NBA teams, start mode and now I'll select a powerful team. And my favorite team is Los Angeles Lakers, so I'll select it. Now auto generate the rookies. And once you have done it, now comes the most important part. Here what you have to do is, here you have to first go to settings and change adjust the quarter length so the more the quarter length the more vc you will get so for example for 8 minutes you will get about 800 vc but for 12 minutes you will get around 1200 vc so it's up to you how much vc you want and make sure that the game speed is at 100 we want to sum up the game as soon as possible and now go to the code settings and make sure that the timeouts are on manual so your time won't be wasted in the timeouts so once you have done it now this is the most important part so here you can do two things so the first is that you can load any slider with the name 100 in it as you can see 100 to 0 slider but if you're not able to load this slider as you'll see in this video only that i was not able to load it due to some error now you just have to change it manually you have to change the sliders manually as i'll show you in this video so first of all change it to custom and everything will be zero and we want everything to be zero except the tendencies we want the tendencies to be between 30 to 45 so just change it to 30 to 45 one by one and keep everything else to zero. So as you'll see, I've changed everything to between 30 to 45 and sometimes to 30 to 50. So just keep it between 30 to 50. And once you have done it, that was the most important part. Make sure again that your timeouts are on manual, your game difficulty or game speed is on 100 and change the quarter length as according to the VC you want. So once you have done it, now what you have to do is you just have to play a game. And you don't even have to play the game, you can let the CPU play, so just auto handle ro roster with the help of CPU. And as you can see, now I'll not play the game, I'll keep the controller on CPU. As you can see, I've kept the controller on CPU and now I'll just fast forward the game. As you can see, now I'm not playing, the CPU is playing and the game will be closed. What you can do is if you are losing, you can just play at the end of this game and get a victory for your team. Even if you don't do it, then also you'll get significant amount of VC. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. And 
and as you can see the game has been ended and now you will see how much VCI got for this. Now I'll just quit the game and now it will check the servers, it will just upload my VC to the servers. Now concentrate on the lower left corner of your screen, you'll see how much VC I got. As you can see, I got 800 VC for doing just these little things. As you can see, I didn't even play the game. So this VC is best for the time you're not playing NBA 2K21, you are going to take a rest. You can just keep the game on CPU and get this free VC. Just for proof, you can also see on my screen, now I have 200,800 VC, as you can see on the top corner of my screen. That is because I got 200,000 VC for Mamba Forever Edition and now I have applied this glitch and got 800 more VC. And you can again apply this glitch by going to MI League and deleting an existing league and following this process one more time. So I hope you like this video. So if you like this video then please leave a like and my next video will be on the latest badge glitch I found in the My Career mode. So if you want to watch that video too, just hit the subscribe button now and hit that bell icon too so you never miss a video from my channel. So thank you for watching, have a great day ahead.